Well, I'm back from my trip to Southern California. I visited with my grandchildren and my kids and had a great time. I flew this time, no driving. <laughs> had a great, great time, but it's also great to be home. Let's see what's changed in the garden since I left. All the grasses have gone crazy. I am having real um, allergy problems. Never had allergies that severely, but every once in a while up here, I get them. And this last couple of weeks have been terrible. But get things like this, these beautiful wild irises that just popped up in the front yard. Oh my God, they're perfect. I might have missed the uh, lilac bloom here on the tree when I was away, but a couple were left and oh, they are just so pretty and smell so good. More beautiful wildflowers suddenly appeared when I was gone. Everything's doing great here, including the weeds. <laughs> Potatoes seem to grow fine here in the compost. If I tried to grow them, they wouldn't grow, but uh, if I just throw the peels in, they grow just great. Um, I also have some zucchini. I have yellow and uh, green zucchini. Uh, let's see, which one is this? This one is the, uh, oh, I can't tell, the cat just jumped in there. <laughs> I was trying to look for the, uh, <laughs> I was trying to look for the label. Okay, this is yellow squash. Oh my God. <laughs> Somebody wants attention. All right, this is yellow squash. I put the um, seeds in about two weeks ago. There's one. There are two more. They're doing great. Green zucchini, a couple coming up here. I might stick another seed or two in here just in case. I put some pumpkin seeds in here too, but um, they are not coming up yet. And I also put some beets in, which have not come up yet, but that's okay. Pumpkins, I've noticed, are a little crankier than the summer squash, so I'm gonna either put some more seeds in or wait and see. Here's that pretty dianthus I got at Walmart a few years ago for 75 cents or something. It was in their clearance aisle or about to die aisle. <clears throat> it's just booming like crazy. Nothing bothers it. Drought, heat, snow, definitely a keeper. I put the handyman in charge of my seeds here and it's starting to come up. There's some tomato seeds peppers a little bit. This one went wild. It's a zucchini seed. Two. I'm trying different ways in these little uh, mini greenhouses made out of uh, water bottles and just out open. Here's the celery that I literally grew from the uh, leftover stock. I put the root in, uh, in some um, dirt after I finished all the celery and it's starting to grow again. I had two but one didn't make it. Sorry for the moving camera, the cat keeps hitting it. Although the feral cat, she never believed she was feral by the way she cuddles up, um, was well taken care of and fed. She did miss me. I came back and as a token of gratitude for coming back, she left me something dead on the front porch. <laughs> I thought it was a rat, but it was a, a vole. The feet were not rat-like, they were more like a hand with a big palm and a bunch of little claws on it. No head. <laughs> Had a lot of hot weather when I was gone. 80s and 90s, though strangely enough it was not uh, hot at all down south. <clears throat> so I came home and everything was okay, but there was some strange, like something strange happened in the kitchen. It was like a bunch of gnats had, had been floating around and suddenly it all dropped dead on my stove. It was very strange. I know that the animal and insect life here is a little over the top, but I feel if I want to be completely honest about life up here, I have to discuss that stuff too. <laughs> Looking forward to getting back on track here. Got to finish up a, a lot of stuff. <laughs> so good to be home. Good to be back on the homestead here. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for watching.